this is kind of a follow-up to my um, video I just did about 12 volt LED usage and my story about my tractor and the short I got on it. Um, so this is a device for automotive uh, shorts, for tracking down automotive shorts, or at least an aid in the process. Uh, blowing a lot of fuses in that lawn tractor. These 20 amp fuses. Um, I basically can't let the lights turn on or I kill the fuse and lose my power so I can't even run the tractor. So until I find that short, and as an aid in finding the short, I built this device. Uh, you may have noticed in my other video I had these bulbs. You know, what the heck am I have these bulbs laying around for my LED thing? Well, what I've done, and the soldering is not at all pretty here. The soldering was actually kind of tough to do. I probably should have used thinner wire. It would have made things a lot easier. But even though I sanded a patch on the bulb and... Uh, Pre-flexed it. I still had considerable trouble, mainly because the wire is conducting so much heat. Even using a gun, I had to use a gun. The iron wasn't enough. Um, it was really hard to hold on to things because the wires got too hot in my hand. I ended up getting a baking trivet, uh, not trivet, but a pad. You know, used for grabbing a hot pad, a hot pan. Um, what's the word for those? Anyway, so not my usually perfect, not my usual perfectionistic uh, soldering job here, but at least it's adequate, I guess. And then soldering under the fuse was also a challenge. I did pre-flex it, but I needed a lot of heat and had to pre-tin both ends to get it to stick. So it's kind of a problem to do this thing. If I would have had some better way to hold onto the ball, it would have made it easier. I really can't put the bulb in my uh, clip to my fourth hand thing here. Um, I use it for the fuse, however. So basically, I purposely used both filaments in parallel to give myself a stronger load. And that's all this bulb is, is a load. This is just a dim bulb tester for 12 volt usage to go right into a fuse socket. So you can see my dim bulb tester, uh, or whatever I called it. I think I called it poor man's variac for the basic idea of this. The basic idea is that a cold filament has a lot lower resistance than a filament that's heated up and glowing hot, red hot. Once the filament gets hot and starts glowing, it drops a lot more voltage across it. The resistance goes way up. So you can use this as a safety valve when you're checking a short. You put a light bulb in series with your short and uh, the light does two things it acts like a safety valve limits current so when you've got a short it won't let the short draw so much current that it burns things up and the second thing it does is uh, give you a visual indication via the light bulb as to how much of a short you have roughly how much of a current you, uh, situation you got flowing so like if you're in an automotive situation you plug this into your fuse box You've got an intermittent short. You can plug this into your fuse box to keep blowing fuses. Plug this into your fuse box and see if it's lit or not. And you know your short's active when it's lit. And you wiggle wires around and the bulb goes on and off. You know you found your short. You know, or take things apart or whatever you're going to do. So it's just an aid to that process. And... and I have the voltage a little bit less than 12, so it doesn't overwhelm the camera too much, but you probably can't tell. But both filaments are going. One filament's a lot heavier than the other. This is a brake light filament, the other one's a running light filament. But I put the two together just to give me a stronger load. Lower, lower resistance. And this fuse that's there is blown, of course. So the fuse is just a way to plug into the fuse box. But a simple little device to make, although physically kind of difficult. There it is. Here's my testing aid for a short dim bulb tester for 12 volts. Even with flux, it's difficult to solder directly to these little holes in the fuse. 
But this top flange is actually glued in. It's not all one piece. So you can get rid of that. So here's the bulb installed in my tractor's fuse socket. And now I would have blown a fuse right now and wasted a fuse. Instead I've got power continuing. See this is running lights with this is running with the uh, you can see a little draw from the spark generating circuitry of the lawnmower. But you don't see the big draw from the shorted lighting harness until I go into lighting position. It's curious that it's making a noise. It should probably tell me something. Probably that it's cutting into the uh, solenoid for the starter. I may have to just abandon the wire and run a new wire outside the harness since everything else seems to work.